welcome to the channel of love okay i'm just wrapping up taurus's reading um i've been drawn to come on for about two days now to actually have a look at these fixed signs um individually because there was kind of a message that came out to say that the fixed signs would be maybe um they were going to feel the effects at the moment. Whether that's positive or negative, I'm not sure. So, um, I've just done Taurus, seeing as it is Taurus season and they have a lot of planets. Um, Scorpio, you have your full moon in Taurus on the 18th. So, let's have a look at what um, is going down. I'm uploading another video and I don't know if that affects really the quality of this one. Um, we'll soon find out. Right, okay, Scorpio, let's um, have a look and see if we can just give you some additional guidance at the moment. Okay, you've got the Four of Wands, which is that 11-11 card. This is about your happily ever after. Okay, um, finding balance within your masculine feminine energy. And then it's like kind of going and creating that happy community, happy life, happy family. Uh, King of Wands, so you're looking at this. Okay, so you're looking at this option passionately. So you're desiring this, and but it's causing you concern. Okay, Taurus did have this come out, and she did have a King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So Taurus is picking up a very much a feminine energy. Um... Causing you concern regarding your legacy. What well, actually the security of your future. You've got a nine of cups, which looks like you are single, so you can make a move. You've been working on your other cups. And it's obviously of your suit, the nine of cups. So this is a single independent masculine energy. The hermit, you already know this. So you already know the truth. You've been studying and um, following your inner guidance. So this is... Um, when you kind of go into isolation, I want to say, to study and to... get further clarity about your Ten of Cups. Okay. So you're looking for that one cup. Is that what you're doing? You're looking for the... Oh, come back here. The Nine of Cups is just missing the one. He's got a star in his lantern now. There's the Ten of Cups. Let's get one more. Judgment. Okay. So it looks like your calling's here, but this could be a fear of um, actually facing the past so that then you can move on. Bottom of the deck, it's all positive. It's the most positive card in the deck, so it looks like this complete transparency, new beginning, new positive, uh, happily from now on. I'm not going to say happily ever after. But you still have this Nine of Swords here. So, um, and I imagine that's going to come in with the judgment. What should I get? Let's get a, um, an enchanted map. Two, flying and unexpected visitors. So let's read flying first. Mm. Ow. Where's the book? Oh, okay. Let's, um... Oh, there it is. It's camouflaged. Okay, let's do number 20. Fly in. You have the power to see things from a higher pers perspective. It's getting dark in here. Oh, we're dealing with Scorpio, aren't we? <laughs> okay. Right. If you were a bird flying high in the sky, what would you see? When you saw above, 
life's challenges and opportunities, a new perspective becomes available. Today you have invisible wings that allow you to swiftly bring your circumstances into alignment with your highest purpose. This is a sign that your waiting is over, that all your hard work has paid off and the things you hoped for are no longer beyond your scope. You have the ability to reach for the stars and find one with your name on it. Spread your wings and soar. The angels are waiting for you. It says, look for the stars <laughs> okay, and find one with your name on it. It looks like you've really captured it. Okay. And then we've got unexpected visitors, 41. If you expect the unexpected, you'll be prepared for miracles. Detours, surprises and paradigm shifts. Expect the unexpected. No matter how detailed your plans are and how clear you believe the road ahead to be, there are times when the best plans are waylaid by unforeseen circumstances. At first, detours may seem inconvenient, but a surprise turn of events signals that the adventure of life is beginning to get interesting. No one can plan for synchronicity, for fate and destiny to meet, except spirit. Who knows what you can't comprehend for now. Life is full of surprises, so stay on your toes and enjoy this exciting new adventure you weren't expecting. There is a plan for your life and that may not match up with your agenda. Okay. Well, that's good because you're worrying about it too much. <laughs> Let's get some Archangel Guidance. Overcoming difficulties. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. Okay. And gentleness. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations and environments. So let's read the overcoming difficulty. Overcoming difficulties. To find these books, they here. The challenges you faced have made you stronger and have taught you new lessons. Instead of becoming bitter, you've opened your heart with compassion towards people in similar situations. You've let go of any blame or feelings of victimhood. This is why you're now overcoming your previous challenges. Your positive outlook is attracting a loving solution and new situations at a higher level of spiritual understanding. Stay positive. Jeremiah's name means mercy of God. And we, it really comes in with this, doesn't it? Okay. Mercy of God. And when you call upon him, Jeremiah delivers mercy to you and everyone involved. Jeremiah guides you and others to act in loving ways. He also helps you adopt a merciful outlook, which enables you to consistently treat yourself with respect and tender, loving care. Some TLC. But give yourself some TLC. You need to be gentle with yourself at this time. Okay. It's um Scorpio's quite used to um death and rebirth. It looks like this could be quite a, a, a pivotal one for you. Let's have a look at the, what am I holding? Gentleness. Sandalfon wishes to help you feel peaceful and centred and he strongly advises that you begin by listening to gentle music. I've been sharing some over on the Facebook page. So, um, play at what? Sorry, let me... Yes, no, I'm, I'm in the right spot. <laughs> by listening to gentle music. Play, play it wherever you go. Talk quietly and engage in slow, rhythmic movements, so, such as swaying to music or a gentle yoga session. Don't engage in battles at this time. 
instead retreat from conflict while you revive your spirit and become even stronger. Delayed decision making at this time, you'll know exactly what to do when you emerge from your gentle retreat. So working with Archangel Sandalphon, Sandalphon's aura is a calming and cool shade of turquoise like the translucent, 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 tropical ocean. Perfect for your sign. Okay. Meditate upon this colour and hold the stone associated with his energy, turquoise, and feel your heart rate and breathing become quieter. Sandalphon can help your words and actions to be kind and gentle, yet powerful. As the Archangel associated with music, you can feel his presence strongly when you listen to music, sing or play a musical instrument. Oh yeah, I didn't notice that's what he's doing, is it? Okay. Right, um, itchy nose. Um, let's get a journey of love for you. We have she loves. Beatles. She loves me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 61. Forgiveness is here for you now. It does look like that's what you're seeking. Okay. Forgiveness is here for you now. Can you partake of it? Forgiveness for your own self, for the times you messed up, you didn't love, you forgot to trust, tried to take over and decided against surrender. Forgiveness is here for you now. For those, time, those times when you couldn't forgive another, even if you really tried and really wanted to. She loves. She is here for you now. Open your heart to the angel goddess of forgiveness and let her fill your heart. You are free. This oracle brings you a message from the divine. You are forgiven. You are worthy of forgiveness and you are capable of great spiritual generous, generosity in forgiving others. If there is a person that you cannot forgive, you are really just not forgiving yourself, perhaps for being vulnerable, for not knowing better, or for not listening to your own intuition. It's time to let that go and allow the forgiveness that the divine has for you to fill your heart. You are free now, you just need to realise it. Okay, let's read the poem. to grab a quick drink. The cherry boss <laughs> the cherry blossom the cherry blossom knows when to bloom each year and never questions whether its beauty is enough. There is peace in knowing you always bloom well, yet man spends a lifetime in wonder. So I just want to say that men bloom rather beautifully as they mature so um but masculine's energy don't they find that quite hard to acknowledge okay so lots of being gentle with yourself loving yourself let's um i want to get a postcard from spirit and then i'm going to end on um you've got this cards oh they're not postcard from spirits i'll postcard from spirits over here Okay, Scorpio, let's get this wrapped up. And hopefully it's a little bit of a additional guidance for you, um, seeing as you're affected at this time, maybe a bit more than other star signs. So um, let's get you a message. It says you are magic. Dear you, there is only one you. And you have a unique place in the universe. Sometimes situations come up that challenge you to be authentic. And that means you have to fully... And that means you have to be fully yourself and let go of being what you think others may want. I'm going to have to turn the light on. So sorry, but I really... Um, it's quite a dark card. I know it doesn't look dark for you. Um, but that's the camera, what the camera picks up on. Right, 
I'm going to start from the beginning. <laughs> so, dear you, there is only one you, and you have a unique place in the universe. Sometimes situations come up that challenge you to be authentic, and that means you have to be fully yourself and let go of being what you think others may want. Now is not the time to conform to other people's standards or expectations. Be proud of who you are and be courageous. Stand tall in your convictions. Being yourself is a powerful statement and will only lead you to success and ultimately happiness. Don't compare yourselves, yourselves, well, there's lots of you. Don't compare yourself. Um, where have I gone? Don't compare yourself to other people. Want what you have, choose what your heart wants and know that your purpose in yours alone is yours alone. No one else can claim your magic nor take it away. When you place authenticity and originality high on your list of priorities and give them a prominent place in your awareness, extraordinary things happen. Your life is a beautiful one. Love you always and forever. Okay. Let's get you a You Got This card, okay? Um, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. You always pass failure on the way to success. So there's your two messages, okay? Right, I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. I don't do this, but um, I've, like I said, I've been drawn to come on for uh, two days now to be able to give the fixed signs a, a little mini reading. Okay, guys. Right, much love. Take care, and I will um, catch up with you guys soon.